Dolly Parton's longtime passion project, Passing on the Gift of Reading. The NewsHour special correspondent for education, John Marrow, has the story. Most of you are probably familiar with Dolly Parton, but to some, Parton is more than a country music star. Everywhere I go, the kids call me the book lady. The thing that makes Dolly's uh, Imagination Library unique is that the books come by mail. Uh, there, right there is a kind of a thrill, you know? We send these books to them in their little name, with their name on it. They look forward to going to the mailbox. This is theirs. This is mine. So I am going to either learn to read it or I'm going to make somebody teach me how to read it. Each child receives 60 free books, one every month until age five. I think it's so important for kids to develop a love of reading early in life. I have a two-year-old myself, and watching her just explore the world through books, it's, it's amazing. So she doesn't even have to leave her bedroom, and she's checking out different cultures, different cities, different countries. By enjoying a book, the imagination is, is engaged automatically, and whether a reader identifies with Ladybug Girl or another character, uh, the reader sees themselves beyond their world, and the Dolly Parton Imagination Library offers a bigger world to the readers that they give books to, and what's better than that? I think what we are about is the emotional tie to books. That if children love something, they will continue to do it. Puff, puff, chug, chug with the little blue engine. Then you look to the right and then to the left. And the value of reading to children is well documented. Kids who have books in their homes and are read to regularly are more likely to succeed in school. It really, really started out as a very personal thing for me, and it was. Uh, originally it just meant for the folks in my home county because of my dad. Uh, I think it is an incredible thing that Dolly Parton's Imagination Library has grown from 1,500 books a month to a million books a month, a million books a month. It's, it shows two things to me. One, that there's a need for an organization like the Imagination Library because if there are that many kids who are not getting books who want them, it's incredible to have this place mm -hmm. where where they're able to get the books out. And that's the second thing to me, is that it's an organization that's so well run that they can do this. I can't imagine shipping mm -hmm. out a million books. I mean, I can barely get my kids' lunches packed for school. And this is a million books a month. So it's an incredible thing, an incredible thing, mm -hmm. something to be proud of. And, and we're really happy to be part of it. A love of reading is instilled by a child getting their own books. There are programs all over the place, but this program has been so successful and just continues to be brilliant. Yeah, I think it's amazing that Dolly's foundation has gone from mailing out 1,500 books a month to a million. That's incredible. I feel like most people, when they start something like this, it kind of fades away after a few years, but she's just continued to grow it, and she's doing just great work with literacy. As Dolly said, the purpose of an imagination library is so children will dream more, they'll learn more, they'll care more, and then they'll be more. Can't beat that. And the first step is the one that's always hard.